Hey everyone, if you are having issues playing against land destroying deck, this is the video for you. For those who are new to the channel, my name is David and today we will be going over our second attempt to get 5-0 on a league match uh, against a land destroying deck. Let's get started. So let's see, and this is a very keepable hand, even though we don't know that we are against land destroying, but yeah. This is pretty bad, so we are trying to get our lands in play but he will be killing them and I was hoping he didn't have like another way to destroy our lands and uh, yeah, he had so now I'm hoping I can I can get one more land and I had, it's not ideal but yep now he's playing Altisaur and if he cuts skates into Top Hill Sprawl that's not really that kind of a big of a deal because we can deal with Altisaur at some point I'm discarding Torn because we're not doing anything with that. Now we are going to ki to, tr to kill the Altisaur and they are now in top decking mode, but not not really because yeah. And this is pretty much game over. It it's it was very quick, but it because they had a not start and also they had like some type of card advantage. So yeah, uh, pretty important for us, but. Uh, we have our chances to win the match still, so let's go to game number two. Alright, game number two, and let's see what I decided out. I decided to side it out Golgari Rotform because, uh, I don't know, I didn't have a, a very good reason to do so, but I don't really like having this on hand and relying on this as much, so I decided to swap this for, for an actual removal, going down to 21 lands, but still, uh, if I see a hand with one of these I will be tempted to keep and it's going to be very bad if they blow or land so I decided not to do so and this is a very good one uh, because we just need them to not uh, kill or, or land on turn 2 and potentially that's not going to happen and yeah we just need now to draw land and now I made a very big mistake because I should have played Bonders in here instead of Lanower because Lanower can get bold and that's what's, what's going to happen so even if I draw a land uh, now they are going to, to kill one of our things and, and pre put us in a very bad spot and yeah if he had like a land destroying thing right there it would have been very bad but thankfully he didn't and now he's going to destroy our land probably not which is good and now I'm trying to draw a card instead of playing blinding but our next move will be playing or drawing actually a card because right now I, I need to, to search for for lands before he we decide to to move forward into caster bo boarding party and also we we couldn't I could have played blinding there but I really didn't want to now we are going to try and kill this and play blinding right now I think that's going to, to be the play and yeah we kill that with with snuff out and uh, let's see now I'm playing boarding party in order to get rid of the blocker uh, by going to removal and we go for a kind of a race right now. Now he's playing Altisaur and let's see into Fierce Empath into potentially another Altisaur I guess. Yeah. But none of these things are have his stuff. It really doesn't matter. And let's see what I did. I first of all I, I really wanted to kill the 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 annoyed Altisaur and also attacking. He's not going to block and now I'm going to play the thorn for a car advantage. Now let's see he's going to play Altisaur and let's hope he doesn't cascade into oh he played boarding party and he, he cascade into that it doesn't really matter at this point of the game even if he attacks I can just block and we trade and now I'm going to kill that attack for six and finish things off with blinding you see blinding is really good so let's go into game number three most people doesn't like blinding but as you could saw there last game I ended up winning because I had one so yeah just some food for thought and this is fairly good because um, if he had like some kind of 
and involving Arbor Elf, we can, in essence, do so or kill that. And now I'm play. I'm, I'm looking for another swamp because I don't want to look for like a mountain and, and got that one killed. But I should have uh, sighted in Serene Heart at some point, but I think I thought about that very late. Now he's going to destroy another of, the, of our lands, and now I'm digging for my third swamp. Yep. And now yeah, I'm playing the swamp and hoping to draw some lands out of, out of this Night Whisper, which is good. And now I think he doesn't have like some kind of land destroyed and he's going to cascade into wa into lightning bolt which is not that terrible. Even though we are going down to 9 we can kill the boarding party. Which we are going to do. I, I send out one of the things that's not land in order to look for a land. Now I'm playing Bonders party into upgrade that thing so they can draw any cards. Which was very good. Now we play that in order to get back our land and play Visionary in order to ramp ourselves. Now he's going to kill that thing, and which is totally fine. Now let's see what they do. If they don't do anything, yeah, they kill that, which is fine. Now I'm going to look for my forest and just draw a card from Bonders. Pulse of Mirrors is really good because we can get back our one of our lands. And he revealed boarding party, which is fine, I guess. And now I'm playing, uh, what well I'm playing, boarding party myself, and it will cascade into removal, so I get a free hit. Now he's playing that, and he will cascade into wild growth. And now I will play my removal there. And now I will be playing the Thorn in, or in order to actually secure um, my card draw engine. Now he's playing another boarding party and it will cascade into another ramp spell which is kind of bad. And now I'm going to kill that thing. Yep, and if we top deck one blinding or a lightning bolt, we are kind of have little and we top deck the blinding bolt. Well, with the help of Knight's Whisper, and we ended up winning the game. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is one of the the things that I really don't didn't like about uh, Green Red Land Destroyer is be because you can end up cascading in in these kind of things more often than not because you're on eight of these. Well, if you look at my cascade targets, they were almost always removal. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. It was very fun beating this kind of decks, but certainly th these are competitive and present a great threat against Tron. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the content and for any for more of this kind of content, please give me a like and subscribe and I will see you guys around next time. Bye guys, take care.